This is the Betty Crocker 1000 watt toaster oven. The door swings open nice and easy. Seems like it's heavy duty tempered glass. The little metal thing. You can put it in this slot or this slot. The tray is nice and thick. The interior of the baking pan is seven inches by nine inches. The knobs have a really smooth, solid feel to them. I like that. There's a little timer thing. You can hear it clicking. I like that it's kind of a manual timer, it's not digital. And when the timer comes to the end, it makes that ding noise. The power cord is 30 inches long and it's a two prong plug. The usable space inside the oven is eight inches by nine and a half inches. The main reason I bought this is it's supposed to be 1000 watts. And I wanna use it on a battery powered generator. Here's a look at the crumb tray. There's a little spring along the back. Push this lever down. Crumb tray falls down, you can clean it out. And push it back up, you push it down. Release it and it slides into the little slot. The timer goes up to 30 minutes. And in the manual it says you should always Go up to 10 and then you turn it down if you want to do a shorter period of time. I guess going up to 10 winds up the little spring mechanism in the timer. In the manual it says you should do a trial run with it on full temperature for 15 minutes to burn off any oils or residue from the manufacturing process. And this will be a good time to see what kind of wattage this thing is using. So far so good. So it hit a thousand there for a second. But it's running 980 watts about. The oven uses quartz heating elements. You can see they put off an orange glow. Still running about 970, 980 watts approximately. Yeah, you can see it's burning off something on the interior. You can see a little bit of smoke. Wouldn't want that in your food. And all that smoke has disappeared. It lasted maybe two or three minutes. Once it reaches its temperature, it cycles on and off with the heating elements. Goes down to zero watts. And there the heating elements just kick back on. I wrap the pan in aluminum foil. I 
take some macadamia nut oil that's in a basting brush, oil the pan, Three hundred and fifty degrees for twenty minutes. So I really like this new toaster oven. Stay tuned for a future video where I'll demo it running on the solar powered generator.